Good afternoon, I'm Pam Huff. To our viewers, this news at four is going to be unlike any we've ever had to do. The ABC 3340 family is dealing with the loss of our dear friend and our colleague, Christopher Sign. For the next few moments, we must find a way to begin to say goodbye and to share our grief with you. We have asked ABC 3340 Stephen Quinn to talk with those who knew him well about his extraordinary journalistic career. And I'm Christopher Sign. Chief Meteorologist James Spann starts us off tonight. James, many are hoping, of course, for a drier weekend. He was the man you welcomed into your homes to deliver the news each and every night. But in our newsroom, this former Alabama football player was a trusted coach. He just was such a wealth of knowledge that just undeniably was someone that you could always go to for literally anything. And that helped so much. Christopher Sign was a reporter at heart. His stories made national headlines. He was dedicated and always willing to share his decades of experience with us. It also meant a lot to get a message from him saying, hey, you nailed this, or hey, that was a great job, or hey, really appreciate the work that you're doing. It's been difficult to sort of to keep doing our jobs, knowing that we won't get to, to, to talk to him anymore or to hear him. Chris was the heart of the newsroom, but he always knew how to take the pulse of others. You know, one of my favorite things about him was the ability to be very serious when it meant time to be serious. But he also brought this joy and this fun atmosphere. Uh, whenever you were around him, it, it was just fun. You know, he made everything a joy. He also knew how to make a joke. Chris was quick on his feet. James, what did you do? I, I, I tripped over the extension cord. I'm sorry. You could always be sure he had one of his signature dad jokes ready. These were often on full display during his behind the scene Facebook lives. It was a highlight of the, of the day because it was like my chance to be like behind the scenes, but also like in front of the camera. And I had never had that opportunity before. And one thing I really admired about Chris is his ability to really engage all of us here at the station and make us feel like we were a full family part of what's going on here. You see, the jokes were just part of the game plan to make the rest of us the best that we could be. Christopher Sign worked to set a standard, and he let us know about it every night. We know you have a choice for your news, sports, and weather. Thanks for choosing ABC 3340. Have a wonderful weekend. By building up those of us around him. Every day he walked in, and it was just this breath of fresh air. You knew that everything was okay. By showing us the love we learned to feel for him. He was a big brother to me. Um, he was family, and our family's missing a huge hole. We have a huge hole now without him here. Chris loved to report, as you just saw. He loved to break stories. He loved being literally in the middle of a storm. ABC 3340's chief photographer, Bill Castle, and Chris went through many of those storms together. Here is Bill's tribute. This is home. My wife and my three little boys, we are so excited to be here. Everybody has embraced me. I embrace all of you back <laughs> as well. With an early storm surge of more than six feet, Ivan's outer bands essentially erased the beach. The city of Gulf Shores turned into a virtual ghost town as Ivan zeroed in on the Gulf Coast. Certainly a different scene from 15 years ago. That's when Hurricane Ivan hit this area and boy, did it leave its mark. Winning is difficult. Continuously winning is the biggest challenge that any coach faces. Do you face that same challenge? Do you agree with that? I don't think that? there's any question about it. Um, you know, it's not the human condition to win a championship. It was such a strong feeling that came across this entire area as Alabama native and civil rights icon John Lewis made his way down Dexter Avenue where I stand. Must be a special guy here getting the kind of good treatment, huh? I'll try, Mr. That's President. Good. Welcome to Alabama, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Chris. This is a state that is filled with manufacturing, Mercedes, yeah. Honda, Hyundai, and of course, soybean farmers as well. Right. I broke the original story, and tonight, 
New revelations in this ABC 3340 exclusive. We know Clinton got on board and met privately with Lynch and her husband. As a dad and as a coach, you know, you always gave us advice. Whether you asked for it or not. <laughs> but I didn't listen enough. I didn't listen enough. And that's my biggest regret with you, coach, is now that I'm a dad, I think about the things that you said. I think about the things that my dad said. This is home and it feels so good. I have goosebumps saying it just uh, even right now. It feels right. It feels good. Um, it is great to be back in Alabama. And uh, thank you all for the well wishes out there. And um, as I've said it this morning, I love you back. Um, I've asked James to come and join me here at the anchor desk and James and Chris and I really had a, a unique bond anytime we walked into the studio every day. Each of us demands excellence and that will go on but every day also needs some laughs and we just wanted to share a couple of examples this afternoon with Chris. Get around the promotions closet, and I want you to see what I spotted. Oh, there it is! Wow! Look at that! Look at that patch thing on my head. I, mean, I know. That, 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 I was proud of that. That's all I could grow. I mean, uh, wow! And that's not. Look, look, you know who's laughing? Pam is laughing. Well, guess what, Miss Huff? Look what we found. Wow. Look at this from the promotions well, closet, she looks my no, friend. She, yes. she looks, A she's few years ago. Ageless. But, but, but wait. Thank you, James. But wait, there's more. No! <laughs> you weren't oh, supposed boy. to twist it on me. Wow. Good grief. See, they fooled me. What kind I of thought that what I had both of you what guys. What kind of shirt is that you were in there, Chris? That's, that's, that's the same fancy. one he has on today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll come back in style at some point. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> so, Zing. You uh, want to kick my dog while you're at James, you are ecstatic about two things. The Royal Wedding, early Saturday morning. I know you're going to be up watching it in the Hangout Music Festival, right? I like when you guys play that fancy music when you do your stories on the, I, the that, Royal, I think the it's royal Wedding. You have to stick your lower lip out and squint <laughs> your eyes. And, and, and The Royal uh, Wedding. Yes, yeah, so I'll have two cubes uh, of sugar, please. No, and I know you're excited about Herb Alpert. There oh, wait. See? Stick your lower lip out, Chris. Stick, I, stick it out. Squint your eyes. I, I, okay. I feel like yes. I'm ready for a ballroom dance. Yes. Not with you. <laughs> and, and that's just what happened on camera. I've got to admit that there were some times that I kind of felt like the mom out here trying to control, control in some way two extremely unruly boys. That's an understatement. <laughs> I'm going to miss my buddy. I mean, I'm going to oh, miss, miss my buddy. Uh, let me show you some pictures, Pam. Th th these are some of the fun times. I think we need to laugh a little bit. Let's, uh, th so this is what I do. We, we have artwork from time to time involving Chris, and, and some of the artwork can be pretty funny. Chris absolutely <laughs> loves it. Uh, th this is Chris as Ron Burgundy. Anchorman. He really makes a good Ron Burgundy, doesn't he? He had the hair. He had the anchorman hair. And every Christmas, he oh, would yeah. always join me with Santa Claus. And by the way, Santa Claus every year, that is one of our meteorologists, that's Brian Peters. And you know what we'd argue about, Pam? Who was the naughtiest? <laughs> we, we knew that we were both on the naughty list. Had to be. Was it sign or was it span? Which one? Uh, and and uh, the, the favorite had to be the Art Fern jacket. He came out one night wearing that thing. I'm, immediately, those of us that have been around for a while, we thought of Johnny Carson and, and the Art, Art Fern. Fern character. That, that's Christopher Sign in that uh, jacket right there. But, you know, he played, uh, and, and this is from the uh, Hurricane, Hurricane Ivan. Ivan. Pam, let me tell you what, his, you, you don't know, you don't know how hard it is working in those conditions. Uh, I've been on the coast for so many of these things and it's absolutely brutal. His work during Ivan was just exemplary. And as you know, Christopher Sign and Bill Castle. Our chief photographer. They were on the coast during yeah. landfall of this thing. And we were afraid we'd lost them. Right, we, we lost contact with them and we were scared to death. And, uh, and it turned out they survived the course and they're okay, but their reporting was just phenomenal. And Chris did play football. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, this is when he was a large, beastly man. Uh, at and the had University. lots more hair. A lot of hair, and he, he had a lot more weight. Uh, he was a lineman for the University of Alabama. And Pam, when he came back uh, to Birmingham after being away in Phoenix for a few years back in 2017, I took him with me down to Bryant-Denny Stadium. As you know, I do weather support yes. uh, at the stadium, and I'm on the screens. This was a great little reunion here, I thought, of some interesting characters that <laughs> night. This was the Alabama-LSU game. That's Chris over there on the left. 
uh, David Dubose of Town Square Media. I'm in the middle. Our friend Jimmy Carter, the entertainment reporter, and that's our youngest son, Ryan. We had so many laughs that night. And this is Chris on the Jumbotrons at Bryant Denny. And Pam, he loved that. Of course. I mean, uh, I, I talked with Chris live on the Jumbotrons before I did the, the drive home weather at the halftime, but, but that is part of his heart. And I called Coach Stallings a Saturday morning to tell him, and that was hard. Oh. It was really, really hard. He, he loved Coach Gene Stallings, and he often talks about the things that Coach Stallings did for him in, in his life and the uh, lessons that he learned. And, and he's still in pretty good shape. I mean, and, and <laughs> let me tell you what, this is our gym across the street. This is Godspeed, Godspeed. Elite Sports Academy, and, and I dared him to come over. Now, you, you work out on a regular yeah. basis, and I do, but uh, Brendan and Chris came over, and, and uh, he's still just a – a great athlete. He, he was in such good shape. Uh, and But this is what we'll all remember. Th this man was, uh, and I, I'm a meteorologist. I, I consume news as an average viewer. I don't know anything about journalism, but I, I can tell you from being out here in this room with him for all these years, he had no bias. He, he wanted it to get it right. Isn't that refreshing, Pam? He wanted Wonderful. to get it right. He really cared. And he will be greatly, greatly, greatly missed. Thank you. As you can tell by now, there is a, a great big empty space here on this anchor desk and honestly in all of our lives with Chris's passing. Now Chris would be the very first one to tell us to carry on, to, to do what we do. But for just a moment, please indulge me as I remember this sweet man all of us loved. Chris was truly young enough to be my son, but he had what I call an old soul. He figured out very early on in life what was important. He loved his God, he adored his wife and his three sons, and he understood that excellence came from a lot of hard work. Those were the same lessons right now that he had been passing on to his boys. Chris had that million dollar mischievous smile that would light up a room just the moment he walked in. He was the king of puns. In fact, if you watched us, you heard us sh and saw us shake our heads and, and laugh so many days right here when he would share some of those puns on air. But when the camera was off and it was just Chris talking with a friend, he was all in. He listened, he mentored, he shared. Chris and I often talked about his children and my grandchildren who are close in age. We compared a lot of notes. We talked about their accomplishments and we looked forward to what is still to come. Chris was always looking forward. He pushed himself and he encouraged others to push themselves to be better, to be the best. We want all of you to know that Chris Sign was the best. The best friend, the best colleague, the best fella any of us knew. You know, when, when Chris heard that something good had happened to someone, he would often say, outstanding. As we remember our dear friend, that truly seems to be an appropriate word to describe a life, a life lived with love and compassion and caring. Here's to you, Chris. You were outstanding. 